So today I am going to attempt to actually use something that I guess everybody else is using on the RV market, or at least some of the YouTubers. I've, I've got an Osmo. I'm not really used to videoing with an iPhone or an Osmo. I always use the GoPro. It seems to be a lot easier for me. But today I'm up at our, I don't even know how to turn the screen around. <laughs> I'm up at our 45 North office. This is the main location for the company. And whenever I got out of the service several years ago, I was blessed because, honestly, because of my wife. She has been the finance manager for the company for, I think, 26 years while I was, of course, going in the service. So after getting out, they offered me an opportunity where you mainly see all of my videos from, located about five miles that direction. But today, I've, I've had tinnitus, so I haven't had really the opportunity to come out and come up here and show you guys some of the cool RVs that they carry as well. But I'm up here, it's a Sunday, hopefully the day when the Ravens beat the Chiefs. They, they played the day before the Super Bowl, thank goodness. What do you guys, who do you guys think is going to win? But we're going to be looking at a really cool coachman brookstone this is one of my favorite brands that we carry this is a full profile unit at 102 inches wide and as well you'll notice the full profile I meaning it's gonna be completely flat all the way back it is on the heavier side and excuse me i seem to be looking over here and over here but these are heavy so it will require a little bit larger truck to safely tow it and i do recommend at least a one ton or larger but if you're new here, I do welcome you to the channel and let's get started. So I'm gonna to attempt to work with some of the zoom features with the iPhone again, like the GoPro. I don't have to do anything like this. It's just pretty much set it and forget it. Walk around and whatever you see is what you get. But these things are pretty smooth. Let's look at some of the numbers on this vehicle though before we head inside. So 42 feet, two inches long, 13,114 pounds. That's dry weight. That means there's nothing inside of it. But the Brookstone does come with a battery installed, but of course, minus the propane tanks being filled. But you probably never really have this much weight inside, but it's always best to expect that you could eventually weigh upwards of 15,000 pounds. This coach is gonna be riding on two twin 7,000 pound axles, G-rated tires, 16 inch wheels, and you've got right at 1,827 pounds of available cargo capacity on board the Brookstone. Pretty standard kingpin box in the front. That's a very simple upgrade if you want a really smooth ride. Brookstone's gonna give you a lot of upgrades though. Your suspension system on the back is already upgraded. As they're on board, just gonna go down some of these. A lot of important stickers on the outside of the coach. Model 344FL. Also, the 34, as you probably realize by now, is not the total length of the coach. It's just gonna be a model number. Some people back in the day, I guess, would tell me that, Andrew, that is the length of that camper. Well, well, let's grab a tape measure. This thing is absolutely beautiful, though. I love the separation between the kitchen and the living area. Kitchen island in the middle. All of the cabinetry, by the way, with the Brookstone will be solid wood. Really tall slides also. I'm standing in your dining room side. I feel like I should zoom out more. You guys let me know if I'm doing the zoom bad. I feel like it's probably zoomed out too much. Brookstone over the course of the last few years have been pretty standard though across the board with all their exterior and interior colors. And honestly, this is the first time I've actually seen a different color inside of a Brookstone. There's several other upgrades too, like look at the lights over the island. That's pretty sweet. You also have some accent lights up top. Crown molding also all the way throughout. You're gonna notice there's gonna be three air conditioners as, as we go throughout the coach, but even though they are three, they're 15 Ks, meaning that is the largest size air conditioner you can actually get in the Brookstone. However, you cannot run all three of them at the same time. There is in fact a selector switch, I'll show you here in a moment, where you have to select between zone one or two freestanding table, four chairs, and there's storage also inside of the chairs. Breeze windows all the way throughout the dining room slide and your window treatments are trimmed out with white roller shades. All the windows from the factory are already pre-tinted also. This is what I call a pretty cool little breakfast area, maybe place for a crock pot or your coffee pot. And of course, all the main controls for the unit, light switches, slide switches, quite a lot, by the way. 
tank heater so you're not going to have to worry about really too much in the winter there's still a lot more to do and this is that selector switch for the air conditioner so zones a and b you've got two air conditioners here and you'll have a third one all the way in the back so storage on board the brookstone you have a decent size three shelf pantry right over here some plenty plenty of pull outs also let's open this up just to give you an idea so again solid wood cabinet doors and pull outs as well as the box will also be solid wood solid surface countertops also and i was very happy to see that they have actually installed real subway tile it used to be like the just a regular plastic you got a single basin undermount sink with a residential faucet and your oven is the insignia oven this is the largest in the rv industry high point microwave and this is just a regular typical microwave it's not going to be the convection if you have a convection you ever open one of these up and it's like a stainless steel that's going to identify the convection for you as well it'll have a couple other identifying controllers controls on the outside really big oven i love these things my hand in reference for size and down here adjustable by several different shells so this coach is of course like a couple's coach it can sleep upwards of maybe six people you know, you got the pull-out sofas, of course, in the front, plus the main bat, bed and bath in the back. Brookstone also gives you this addi additional half bathroom. This is, in my opinion, not the perfect pooping position. It's kind of on the tight side. I'm a little bit bigger guy. I'm six foot two, and of course, my knees will probably touch the counter in front of it. But if you need the, let me zoom out more, additional half bath, I guess it's there for you. But how do you feel about it being this close to the actual living and kitchen I'm not a fan of it. I'd rather have the butler's pantry. See, with my GoPro, this is pretty easy to do. With the, this Osmo, it feels kind of difficult. Also, I'm not sure how the audio is going to be. I was told that I should probably get a DJA mic. And I didn't do that. I'm a little... I'm, I'm cheap. We'll start off with one thing and see how it works before we make any additional upgrades. So let's go ahead and make our way to the front. I feel like we've covered the kitchen pretty well. I also feel like they should have brought maybe solid surface countertops up here. That added little touch would have just been nice. The furniture has definitely changed from the 23 to the 24. So I feel like too, I'm seeing changes inside of the Brookstone this early into the 2024 season. And I really do hope that maybe they're looking to do some changes because I've, they really have kept true with the same colors with the cabinets, the outside for several years now. So this is a big thing for me, just to see the furniture change, plus that additional different color in the island. I think that's going to be nice if they actually do make a change. So both of these sofas are sleeper sofas. I'll try to maybe overlay another video showing exactly what both of those look like in the open position. But two adults here, two adults here, so possibly four people up front if you happen to need it. Some of your additional storage. TV looks like you can definitely maybe get a bigger one uh that's probably a 50 inch i could easily probably put a 60 in there pretty good little pull out and unfortunately i'm not plugged in today i'm just utilizing the built-in battery but this is an electric fireplace 36 inches across they produce about maybe 5,000 btus of heat several customers have told me and i've done it myself this area up here will be very very warm i do promise you that so speaking of heat there is a 40,000 BTU furnace. You'll notice the randomly placed four vents throughout the floor, as well as cabinet heat here. Where's the heating duct up here? It's probably gonna be right over there, and I failed to point that out. There's your cabinet heat plus your 110 outlet, which is GFI and the USB port also. Let's head down now to the back bedroom. So if you are taller, like myself, I think you're really gonna like this. Really tall ceilings back from the back. Of course, it is the full profile, like I pointed out in the beginning, meaning the ceiling's gonna run just completely straight all the way through and through. Really big closet. Let me close the door, by the way, glass accent. I hope the zoom is okay. Like again, this, I'm using something different. I typically video with my GoPro. I've been doing this now, I think I just hit like three years. When I was down there working, <laughs> I, uh, I didn't like, and I don't like to sit still. So I met a couple of guys at a racetrack, which by the way, 
if you're into dirt track racing and you really want to support a young man that I've known for three and a half years now, look at look into Chase Holland Racing. That young man has done really great things with YouTube. He's pretty much turned YouTube and his racing career into full time, and that's pretty awesome for a young man like himself. King size bed. We all know the mattresses are, that are inside of these RVs. They suck. I mean, look at that. Over a couple of years, when these things come back in on trade, these things are just terrible. Honestly, I, I can't see anyone spending a good night's sleep on that at all. That's the first thing I'd recommend upgrading when you get a new coach. Window treatments all the way around. Those are white in color. Really beautiful bedroom. And straight up, there's your third air conditioner. TV connections right over here. You can possibly mount maybe a 15-inch TV over here. And, of course, your dresser. Pullouts are going to be probably about 12 inches, and they're pretty deep, maybe 14 inches deep. So let's look at our bath. Again, if you're tall, sometimes finding a RV with a tall shower is a problem. Look at this. So if you're over seven foot five, you'd have to worry, but lots of headroom. Still the pretty standard basic shower. It's a plastic shower with a two-piece insert. I have seen some several nice ones that have like the flip up kind of seat. I think those are very, very nice. That would have been a nice touch they could have also done. Coming around, if you decide you need washer and dryer connections, like if you needed the washer and dryer, this is where to go. That's nice because a lot of our service guys, when they're putting these things in, if you haven't done it or seen it done, it's a, t it's a chore. So this makes it really, really easy for those guys. I'm sure they appreciate that. So talking about the perfect pooping position, lots of leg room, porcelain foot flush toilet. You also have porcelain sinks, lots of cabinetry, even some nice overhead lighting. So on board the coach, you have a tankless water heater. I do believe it's a 60,000 BTU. Those controls are located here in the master bathroom. So example, if you want only 100 and 10 degrees to come out of your hot water, set that temperature for 100 and whatever, and then only turn on the hot. Don't try to combat it back and forth between the hot and the cold. So let's look at the sales price as well as the MSRP sheet before we do step outside. So again, if you guys like anything you've seen, let me know down below. Continue to like and subscribe. Drop me a couple of thumbs up. I know a lot of you guys don't like to go outside and go over anything out there. Totally understand. The inside is always the interesting part anyway. So here's the MSRP sheet, if you'd like to pause the video and read any of it. So with the iPhone, I've noticed, that's crystal clear. The GoPro is kind of blurry when I'm looking at it this way. But let's go ahead and make our way out. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you haven't had the opportunity yet to subscribe, please go ahead and do so now. So stepping outside, you got five total slides. Several of them will be rack and pinion, four-step entry step. This is a lipper component. These are gonna fold inside the door. And the door is also on a friction hinge. The winds are very, very high here today. Speaking of weather, Mississippi, a few days ago, we had six degree weather. And then it went to short sleeve weather. And we had highs of like 80 degrees. And now today it's back down into the 40s again. Mississippi weather is bipolar for sure. Really nice attention to detail with the rubber mat. That's very, very nice. You have, of course, the thermofoil wrapped all the way around the floors. And there's my fingers. I feel like I should zoom in. Bear with me again. And there's my hand for reference to size. Trimmed out really nicely though. Baggage doors are always thick with the Brookstone. These are about a inch thick. Slam latches. It's also gonna be blindside camera prep for several different cameras. This is what that mount will look like. It's a pretty easy system to install yourself. We honestly, for us, what we do is we go on Furion's website and that's where we order it from. Or at least how I quote by customer as far as how much it's gonna cost if they want that option. It's a plug and play system. It's extremely easy to install. Nice docking lights. So the coach is gonna be leveled from a six point electric leveling system. There's the other set back there. And I'll point out the other ones when we get around. The controls to operate those are on this side. Really easy system to operate, but just by simply pressing in one button, the coach will in fact level itself. And there, 
off the controls. I'm definitely zoomed out too far. Package door, exhaust for the furnace. So attention to detail with the Brookstone. Let me show you something that I like. You got all these randomly placed lights throughout the undercarriage like this. It really does help if you're having to come outside at nighttime and do any kind of work with any of your sewer systems. Like there's your pull handles right there. So these lights are definitely gonna help. And there's one back here as well. Here's a good shot of your tires, ST23580R16s, sterling all steel. There's your suspension system. So if you decided to do some upgrades, do it to the Kingpin. You know, going with another lipper component up on the front just really would just make this thing pull really great. And again, I do recommend towing it with at least a one ton or larger. So back here in the back, this is what I call the water management system, which is kind of nice. It's not up in the front baggage area is actually back here for Shane. So your water lines are going to go through the floor, connecting to your city water connection here. You also have the outdoor shower, water pump in case you need it. And just as a tip, when the weather gets really, really cold and you know your pipes are going to freeze like the outside spigot, go ahead and fill your holding tank completely full and just take the water hose off. I mean, you know it's going to freeze out here. That way you know for a fact you have onboard water already in the event that that does freeze and you find yourself in a situation where you have no water even coming to your camper. Just a tip, and of course be sure to turn on the heated holding tanks for all of your tanks. Exhaust for the tankless water heater. Fully walkable roof with a remounted ladder. There's another camera mount way up there. Four by four tubular bumper. This is not for towing. This is for a bike rack. There we go, or maybe a luggage rack. So you do in fact have two awnings on board. Both of them are around 10 to 12 feet. LED lights underneath them. This is an outdoor fridge and you have an LP quick disconnect right here. So if you decided maybe to set up a table, you know, a really cool entertainment system, you could also do so once you get this thing in place. There's a view of your miniature fridge. That pretty much covers it. What do you guys think? I, I like the Brookstone, but I really do wish they, they that they would kind of just make some changes with maybe the exterior color, maybe as well on the inside. Let me know what you guys think down below. Continue to like and subscribe. Come see us.